delivering that warm air to the west are about to bring in a lot more moisture, rain, thanks to this developing atmospheric river event. And it really gets underway starting tomorrow. Late Tuesday on into Wednesday is when this cranks up first across northern spots, the Pacific Northwest. So you see the setup here. There is one area of low pressure up toward places like Kodiak, eastern parts of the Aleutian Islands. That will pull some moisture on through, enough to keep it unsettled right now. You see with a live look at radar, you've got some rain. This is of the lighter varieties, and a lot of that is farther off to the north up into Canada. It's the second area of low pressure that we could see on satellite. So here we go. I mentioned late tomorrow. Boom. That's that corridor of moisture that sets up up and down I-5. So for Washington, down into Oregon, this is heavy rain later tomorrow, tomorrow night, on into Wednesday. And that moisture plume, that the fire hose, we always call it, with an atmospheric river event, slowly slide south with time as we move on through the week. So if you look at the west coast of the United States, there truly isn't anywhere that's spared from at least some heavy rain. The worst of it, though, southwestern parts of Oregon through northern and central areas in California. San Francisco actually appears to be a bit of the sweet spot with some areas in and around the metro that could exceed six inches of rain in total. The benefit to this comes in the Sierra Nevada, which has quietly been well below average most areas in the Sierra uh, so far season to date, the opposite of what we were talking about last year and something we'll dig into more during this hour of Fox Weather Now. Last year, it was two, anywhere up to 350% snowpack season to date. Most areas this year, it's about 50 to 75. So it is a significant lag behind We'll dig into that deficit over the next several days. It comes along with some big waves, though, as this storm system starts churning up the Pacific. So a lot to watch over on the West Coast as we move through this week.